tell if she has a life vest on. Do people around her know if she has a life vest on? I mean, I would assume not. I would assume she wasn't prepared to be swept away by a current. Gina, I simply don't know because, quite honestly, we're pretty far back here on I-10. We're, we're here where the water, where there is no water on the freeway, so we're pretty far back. I'm not sure how she got in this situation or what happened. Um, it looks like a, a T-shirt. Your photographer just yeah. did a zoom in for us, and it looks like a, she has on a T-shirt, and and that's it. You know what? Um, and if off she screen, is, and I'm not yeah. going to pan to this, Art and Gina, but off screen there is another gentleman who's now uh, pulling in a boat, a, a, a boat with a big pickup truck, trying to get it into the westbound lanes of I-10 okay. to get that boat in here, presumably trying to get to this woman. But again, we've seen helicopters circling in this area and people have been waving from the ground up here again we got here about last 10 minutes or so people have been waving to those helicopters trying to get their attention on what's unfolding there on your screen um, a woman obviously in distress fearful right now she might be swept away by the the currents here on interstate 10. oh wow look at that shot just to see yeah. how how far so much uh, water in that and area. just to give the you an idea goes. of how and how many people are out here watching this unfold, hoping for the best right now? Yeah, now, you say there's a current there, but I'm sure, is, is it because of the water flow, because it's receding, or is it, is that what's causing the current in that area? Because I know that there's not a river here close by. This is a, a result of just overflow and just flooding, but is that water flowing somewhere else? I suppose it's just trying to go downstream. Uh, and. Art, I would suspect that the Greens Bayou, which has flooded out parts of Uvalde and Normandy here on the northeast side mm -hmm. of town, that bayou is, is out of its banks, flooding the freeway along with the other channel that's just to the east of it. Forgive me for, for lapsing on the name no there, problem. but it's those two bodies of water. Right. Yeah, no, no. Those two problem. bodies of water have swelled. And so the water, as you know, our meteorologists have told us time and time again, that water, uh, you know, flows out to the Gulf. So it's flowing south, right? And it's flowing at a pretty good current because we tried to pass on one of the feeder roads just south of here, actually on Market Street. But yeah. we were unable to move our news vehicle through there because the rushing the rushing water was too intense at that point. Well, and we know Greens Bayou is so bad that a yeah. bridge over Greens Bayou mm -hmm. um, collapsed. collapsed. Yeah, right. so we know how how um, heavy the rainfall has been in that area. We yeah. see a wrong way sign right there too. Yeah, and you know, those signs idea. are usually a good eight feet oh, up. If that or and more, uh, yeah. it looks like there's only two feet left below that sign. There they go again, it trying to approach like her. We're hoping they can um, throw out a stick, maybe, maybe yeah, the pole there. Oh, happens. here they go with that. Let's, yeah. Let's see if she is able to grab that. I'm assuming that because if that concrete barrier, she must be balancing herself on top of that if it's that deep um, and, and trying to, you know, keep herself balanced she on that. She is right alongside that yeah. concrete barrier, and you can see the water pushing from north to south, so over... <clears throat> the westbound lanes over the eastbound lanes pushing that boat i presumably farther right, south as well i'm wondering if they're afraid that they might be One running the, into the something the photographer on the chris O'Sara i'm working he, with is saying he mm -hmm. can he was saying he can see from his his perspective it looks like the boat's fighting the current right now to try to get to uh -huh, her yeah it looks like it is going toward them and you know we have seen so many incredible rescues over the past we few have. days yeah. and um this is just another one as as we try and save every single person in uh, southeast texas uh, that we can lay eyes on and uh, so there she goes what is she losing she looks like she's trying to walk now and i want to draw right? your attention very quickly art and gina if chris you can hear me if we can pan out and look to the right here we have two gentlemen who right now are moving this boat into the floodwaters here at interstate 10 presumably you're trying to get to her sir correct sir you're... it appears that they're trying to get to her chris if you can just zoom out and show them here on the again we're on the uh, eastbound lanes of the freeway right now you can see these two gentlemen are working to get this boat in the eastbound lanes of I-10, yeah. presumably okay. to reach her. Well, I, I wonder why the other boat is not able to reach her. I, I, I suppose we're just, we're not there. We don't completely understand why they're not able to reach her, but perhaps this boat can because they're on the opposite side of that current. They don't yeah. have to fight it. Fight against it. And, and I'm, and I'm thinking it, maybe yeah. too that they're concerned if they go too fast toward her that they might rush her over, like the water might go over her head. Right. I don't know. I mean, I, I wish I could say I was a boat captain. And when I'm you were not hearing from some of the eyewitnesses that the, some of the eyewitnesses we spoke with off camera were saying that from the, their understanding that, that she is very distraught. Mm -hmm. So might not be 
necessarily processing what's unfolding right before her. Well, it's great that there are two boats there making an attempt to rescue her and I'm sure they are going to we're gonna stay with it obviously but I I certainly uh, yeah. feel like they're gonna figure it out with her right in front of their face again it seems like every every day at this time of day one of the challenges too we're looking at is you want to get the rescue done before the sun goes down right and uh, I can see that it, it's um, still light out but we don't have a lot of time before the sun goes down, so they want to figure it out before that happens. Absolutely. And, and Stephen, I, I think you may have and discussed Gina, this before, to... but I was just wondering, how did she even end up there? Did she decide to go for a walk, or, or did she drive her vehicle into that area? Art, simply, we don't know the answer to that question right now. The eyewitnesses who are out here, and there are hundreds at this point looking on here on the east side of the waterway are looking on no one seems to know the answer to that question you know another how observation exactly she ended up in that yeah. another observation i, I will say that pointed you, out steve i'm sorry is that there could be boats that are preventing i mean i'm sorry cars below the boat keeping the boat from going any farther yeah because that, that you never be know how many that's actually a fantastic under, observation because yeah. Because you see a box truck, you see a box truck that's almost, right. it looks like the cabin of that box truck is covered. So I, so with the, the cabin of a box truck being covered, you would assume that water could be covering cars there as well. It looks like that other boat is getting pretty close to her, which is a good thing, but still not approaching her. They must be able to see something under that water that prevents them from going forward. Uh, you know, and, and you, you have an engine, of course, they, they probably have one of those 200 mile, uh, horsepower engines on the back end of that little boat or 100 horsepower, and that engine drops at least a foot and a half mm -hmm. or two feet. And so as a result of that, you know, you're going to be hitting anything on the uh, underneath. So um, perhaps they're watching out for that. But you're, you're right, uh, uh, Steve. Look at that Valero gas station. Those signs yeah, are how so high, high the water yeah. is. And, and, and just to yeah. speculate, Art and Gina, at this point, as to where she, she might have been, whether she was in a car or something like that, to the north of the freeway, there's a motel. There's also apartments and homes there. So quite honestly, it would be difficult to see where exactly at this point she's how she ended up there yeah. you know and including our news crews here at the station but certainly i can see the case is true with these um the folks on the boats there a lot of people just don't walk around with uh vests um yeah. life preserver vests and you know you would like to think people have them on on boats but a lot of boats got called into action uh, and i'm seeing that you know i don't see it looks like the boat that was out there first some of those folks have on life vests but the boat now approaching her they don't because so there's not the option yeah. necessarily of throwing her out a life vest which yeah. is one of the options normally uh you There's might want to take the, advantage of the, those two gentlemen on that boat that just got in the water unfortunately i wasn't able to get to them before they got out there but they look like just two average citizens yeah i'm not sure they're, they're obviously not affiliated with any kind of law enforcement agency they just look like two people is the out other here with a boat is who the just other boat backed up their truck and unloaded it is the other boat affiliated with are they from a local agency or are they just to volunteers Chris, can you see that from your vantage point, whether or not the boat, the first boat, is with any law enforcement agency? What does that say on the side? I think... Um, Billy Sticks. Billy Sticks. I, I, I <laughs> it don't looks like that's, that's a regular citizen. <laughs> yeah. And you know what? The story so. of this... It uh, looks like this is Houston, again, just perfect strangers out here trying to help this woman right. out. Yeah, yeah, I think that's what it is. But they do have a... I, I saw the person have a life... She does... They do. They, on they that do. Boat. They have yeah, a life uh -huh, vest. The second so. boat. I mean, it's really the story of this, I think, when all is said and done, is going to be how many people there were like this right. who saved thousands of people. There's no way to tax all of us citizens enough yeah. to get a uh, official type at every scene uh, over thousands of miles yeah. where there's been flooding. And so people like this, we really de depend on them to help uh, the numbers save are our friends and neighbors. Uh, when you start speaking about those evacuations or rescues, well, they just threw her a line. I just saw yep. a line being thrown mm -hmm. to her from that opposite side. Second so let's there. see what She's happens. She's got a hold here. of it. She's got a hold of Steve, it. Steve, we're going to turn it over to you. She's coming to the side, and there it is. Looks like she's been rescued. They just bumped into something. It looks like that gentleman who oh, oh, is pulling her onto grabbing that her. boat right now as we <laughs> as we speak. Wow. There you go. Grabbing her. Oh. Jumped right into action. Ah. Oh. With no life vest on, he, you know, she's heavy because she's wet. You yeah. know, I don't know how much she weighs, but she's, she's heavy because she's wet. She's and he reached like right that. over there and, and grabbed her uh, 
by her shirt and pulled her on up to safety. Not knowing what's below that, as you said, you know, that could be hitting his boat. Amazing. Just jump back in. Wait a minute. She just jumped back in. Did you say she in. jumped back in? My okay, photographer's first was saying woman? that she just jumped back in. Oh okay, my she gosh. just jumped back in. This is clearly oh. someone who does not want to be rescued. You think that she jumped back in? Oh. Yeah. And, uh, and I don't that understand coincides that, with what eyewitnesses are telling us out here that in. she was distraught. That she was so distraught. Oh. She, I, 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 she, I, you know what, she may have a mental health problem because yeah, I think that's obviously. Oh, this breaks your heart because obviously she was not comfortable hanging on to the wall. That was obvious. But she was laying down. She was perfectly she safe. Was perfectly there was safe. no reason for her to get off the edge again. Uh, but she clearly has other issues, I think, that we're dealing with here because even a person in shock would not do that. It would just, no, there's would just something stay else on the, going on. on the boat. There's something else. And you don't know what other kind yeah. of losses and how people re react to uh, the other losses they wow. they have sustained uh, because of this. She seems and like she's walking like though now, right? At this point, she's yeah. being able to stand. To okay. walk, yes. So I'm not sure if they got right, her well, a little bit closer. Yeah. We, to I mean, <clears throat> to, you know, more shallow land there. It's difficult when you're dealing with someone who simply, at least at this point, does not want to be rescued. But Stephen, we're going to walk away from this uh, that's, because we that's have other something we've not seen video before. to get to. Yeah, of all the um, rescues we have seen, which have been into the tens of thousands, I was going to say, it. I think this is the first that we have seen of someone saying, "Hey, I don't want to jump yeah. back in the water." I mean, we've seen.